Hello, my name's John Fell. I head up the telecommunications subsector here at Osborne Clark. I'm delighted to be joined today by Lawrence Dow, who is in our Brussels office. Um, welcome to the uh, TMC annual review and the telecom section. Um, it's been an interesting year for the telecom sector. Uh, as we predicted, there's been continued growth in relation to infrastructure. Uh, and in one of our articles, we'll be looking at why we think that's going to be a continuing trend for 2023, and particularly the importance of fixed wireless access and also um, private networks. IoT, I think, is also going to have a huge part to play in decarbonisation, particularly in the way we manage our consumption and we manage our environments. But I think the one thing that we've learned this year from the war in Ukraine is that satellite is so important when it comes to providing communications in incredibly difficult circumstances. And satellite has definitely come into its own. We've also seen the EU saying it's going to invest €6 billion Euros into a Europe-wide satellite-based broadband network. All of this means that satellite is really coming to the fore. And, and Lawrence, this is where I bring you in. Um, You've written an article on this, so why do you think at this point satellite is suddenly coming to the fore? Thank you, John. Well, satellite is becoming more and more uh, important lately. There is a growing need from public authorities but also private companies to have an efficient, mm -hmm. safe and reliable connectivity solution. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of efficiency, we note that we ha need to have a reliable connectivity solution. Now. In reality, in the West, we do have a good internet connectivity, but there are still a number of dead zones where we do not have any connectivity. Now, by deploying a satellite communications network, we can overcome that issue in terms of dead zones, and we can truly provide an internet for everywhere. Secondly, there's also a growing need for a safe communications means. This is particularly the case considering the increase in geopolitical and cybersecurity threats on communications networks. Also in terms of reliability, there is a need for a satellite communications solution. We all know that communications networks are a critical infrastructure, critical infrastructure that is vulnerable to natural disasters, but also cybersecurity threats. By deploying its own satellite communications network, the European Union wants to create a failover solution in terms of communications solutions. So with, with all of this growth in the use of satellite, what impact is that going to have on the rest of the telecom sector across Europe? Well, the deployment of a satellite communications network will have an impact on the traditional telecom sector. First and foremost, over time, it's envisageable that the satellite communications network providers and providers will essentially compete with traditional telco operators. Secondly, also in terms of 5G, Satellite communications networks play a crucial role because typically we see that for some telecommunications providers, they can't roll out 5G in certain places because they can't build a tower. By having a satellite communications network, you overcome the issue in terms of the construction of 5G towers. Thirdly, there's also an additional need for investment because of the fact that rolling out a satellite network will cost a substantial amount of money. So if we see the growth in satellite and we see that as the future, well, what are the hurdles that the providers of satellite uh, services are actually going to face over the next 12 to 18 months? In reality, there are two main hurdles. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, there is an issue in terms of frequency filings because of the fact that the frequencies are, in, a sen in essence, a scarce good. Secondly, there's also a scarcity in terms of orbital slots. Mm -hmm. In reality, we see that countries such as the United States, China and Russia are incentivizing the further rollout of their own satellite communications networks. So they're creating their own mega constellations. We also see that private parties, such as Starlink, for instance, is also creating its own mega constellation for a satellite communications network. Now, in reality, the European Union, they realized that they couldn't stay behind. So they recently proposed the Secure Connectivity Program, which is essentially an investment program of up to 6 billion euros where the uh, European Union actually seeks public and private investment for the creation of its own satellite communications network. And the main goal thereof is, first and foremost, the rollout of its own satellite communications network, but also to tackle the issues in terms of frequency uh, filings and the shortage thereof, and the shortage of orbital slots. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Hopefully that's given you uh, a, an insight to some of the things that are going to go on in the next year in relation to satellite. 
For more on this and on other trends that we've identified in the telecom sector, please see the telecom section of our TMC annual review.